What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today in the mail I actually got a uh, box from Orica Shop. You guys know I've worked with them a few different times and they make all kinds of different Orica cards, which if you don't know what those are, basically they're fake cards that you can either like just collect because you like the artworks, because they have like altar arts, or you can use some of their cards as proxies because uh, they have like cards that are only available in Japan that will be translated. And then you can use them against duels, you know, with your friends. Of course, you can't use them in an actual tournament, but that way you could test out maybe some kind of deck that you're working on. And like I said, the cards aren't out yet for you. Well, you're all set and all that. So, uh, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to open this on camera. I already basically cut through the tape, of course, because I wasn't sure what we had here. But with Christmas on the way, you know, I don't know what I've ordered, like, for presents and stuff. So <laughs> that's why I'm trying to be, like, careful and uh, see what else going on. So first off, looks like we actually have a play mat. Pretty awesome, an Ash Blossom play map. Looks pretty nice. Has Ash Blossom with their tongue sticking out on there. That's nice looking. And it actually has like the non fraying edges. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can kind of see it on uh, this camera here. Let me, I have too much stuff everywhere. There we go, okay. <laughs> There's our play map if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Then, oh, they included a Santa hat. Well, we gotta go with that then. That's the rules, right? Someone sends you a hat, you gotta wear it. I don't know if I can. I have a big head. Oh. There. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. There's your thumbnail right there, right? Let's see what else we got here. Uh. Okay. Here's like a, a box of like random stuff, or like a little bag of random stuff, I should say. It's talking about a box. I don't know if it's something random that you can buy through a store. Pretty cool looking. It looks like a deck of cards and then one of those, yeah, the Millennium Stone. Okay. We've opened up one of these before, so I'm going to keep this one shut. Maybe we'll give it away at some point soon. But uh, this is really cool. It's actually metal. It's a limited edition thing. I think you get it from the, like, the official store. I don't even know if they have those anymore. And then we have like some Orca cards right here. See, they even have like the anime back to them. So again, you can't use these in an actual tournament or anything. Don't try to bring these to your locals. But for fun against friends, as long as your friends are okay with it. Pretty cool. So, looks like we have like an anime deck of cards. Maybe, okay, it's Yugi's, I guess, because we have Slifer, Dark Magician. They're all holographic, which looks nice. <laughs> Dark Magician Girl, Akurian. So, you have like just everything there. Even Dark Paladin and Karibo. Then the rest aren't hollow, it doesn't look like, but still, it's all of like Yugi's cards. Even an extra, oh, okay, a couple of extra Magnet Warriors. This would be kind of cool if you're like cosplaying as Yugi. You want to use some of his cards? You have to remember the effects, of course, because, you know, I thought that was interesting in the anime stuff, you know, how they wouldn't actually have the effects on the cards. It's like, do they keep them all memorized? There's really, oh, there's like the anime artwork, too. Pot of Green? Oh, man. Now I definitely don't know what it does. Come on. <laughs> That's not making it any easier. God, all these cards, you know, Mirror Force and everything. That is really cool. I'd like to almost, you know, I might have to have a duel with these anime cards, see if I can remember some of these effects. <laughs> that might be fun, you know, with one of my friends. That is really neat. Well, there you go. And what else we have? We have some more Oricas. There's like a little, you know, like their uh, website and stuff, advertising. So there you go. And then this was stuck on it, so. Something that could get us to monetize, basically. You already saw <laughs> this dark magician girl. She's ready for Christmas, though. Come on. Christmas spirit. There you go. She got the hat. I, I look just as good in this hat, right? Maybe? <laughs> There's two things I might be missing. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Got blue eyes. Then we have Pod of uh, Prosperity. Not the usual one, though. There's uh, <laughs> a little bit more to that one. Then Ash Blossom. Then uh, Trishula. Okay, I couldn't read it through the camera. Then we even have some uh, German cards, I believe, yeah. Some, like Christmas cards. That's pretty cool. Snowman Eater, I like that one still. What else do we have here? Oh, here's like a bag for the play mat, the Ash Blossom play mat, I guess they have right there. Then, man, they got a little bit of everything, okay. Um, not sure what that is. Looks like some German cards. Top loaders, okay. They actually have their own top loaders. Orca Shop top loaders. These are actually very tough to find. Top loaders are very tough to find over here, so that might be really good. I, I sell cards, you know, and I use top loaders, and huh, I'm, I'm running out of them. I guess this is a thing. They also have some Tune Exodia sleeves. I didn't know they made some sleeves. That is awesome. Those look really cool. I know they have, like, tunes of different stuff, so they're looking really professional with that. Looks almost official, you know? 
Then we have a dice or die, I guess. You know, I hate saying it like that. But yeah, it is uh, one with an attribute on it with dark. I, focus, please. There it goes. Okay, you can see it now. Kind of looks like the official ones that Konami had. Different enough though, where you wouldn't get confused. Then we have like this. It looks like an Egyptian pendant. I don't remember it from the show or anything. Just looks Egyptian, so kind of goes to the original series, really, when you think about it. Anything Egyptian was kind of there. Oh, we even got a Yugi's Legendary Dex was something they sent me. Oh, that is cool. These these are kind of tough to find, I think. I know they reprinted them. I don't know if this is the first issue one. Probably not. It's probably one of the reprints, but I'll take it. I mean, I don't think I'm going to open this up, by the way. We've done opening a long time ago. I'll try to find the video. I'll have it at the corner or whatever. But there you go. That is what you're getting. You're getting Yugi's different decks and that was a really cool set. I mean, I want more legendary decks. I hope they make more of them in the future. Give me like a Signer Dragon one or something. I don't know. It doesn't have to be original series, but give me more. And it looks like we have a bunch of different packs. I'll open those up here in a second. Oh, and they included uh, some of these little stands. Like a mini easel, basically. And you can set these up like that and you can set a card on them. Anyway, let's open up our pack stuff and we'll... You know, let's go to this, actually. I don't know what this is. Is this like a deck of cards, or? I might give away the legendary decks. We'll see what I do. I'm not sure yet. Might be in another video we do something. I'm not gonna open it, though. But I will open this. Oh man, it's all the German cards, too. They look, the quality is so different. That's awesome looking. Got some of the Sioux ships, and it's like Burst of Destiny cards, basically. I don't think it's the full set. <laughs> Not like with that Konami box, right? Yeah, and a few other cards too. Maybe it's just a mix of some of his cards that he just sent. They're really cool. I love seeing cards in a different language. I don't know, I'm, I'm just a fan of that from all the Japanese openings you guys know. It's really cool to see a lot of these. And I think technically you can use German cards in TCG because they are TCG, you just have to have the translation. Some Elfies even. That's really cool. Just a variety of different cards right here. Very nice, okay. I was just wondering, cause I saw that I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I didn't know if it was like a deck of cards. It looks like just some random ones really. And then we have some uh, different packs here. Are they German? Oh, this says English, okay. These are actually English though. And then Korean packs. So we'll just open these though. It must be from the, it must be the UK version though. Cause the packs feel different. Or the Europe version, I should say, I guess, technically. Yeah, these are actually in English. We have, uh, let's see, Oniros the uh, Dream Mirror Tormentor. You're at least guaranteed a hollow out of that. I guess I'll just stack them here. Genesis Impact. Get a collector's rare? Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'd be happy with that. Oh, Nightmare Unicorn's kind of cool. And, ah, uh, we got uh, Majestus uh, Divinity Dragon. Now, Dawn of Majesty. Still a pretty decent set. I like the Stardust stuff that came out. Some of the Alien cards. And uh, Magic Key World. We actually got an Ultra Rare. Okay, not bad. I'll take an Ultra Rare. And then now our Korean packs, we'll save that one for last. That's Legend of Blue Eyes, so come on. Uh, let's go with this. I think, yeah, Korean packs, open them upside down. It's easier. Phantom Darkness, by the way. Oh, we got you, Bell. And, yeah, you, you don't always get rares, even. Invasion of Chaos. What do you got? Ah, uh, not even a hollow. Again, Korean packs are tough to get hollows from, seriously, unless you're guaranteed something. Got our Lost Millennium here with our Ancient Gear Golem and our Elemental Heroes, Avion. Mine Golem, I remember that one. Again, no hollow. Come on. One of these Korean packs has to at least have one hollow for us. That's what I'll be happy with. Right? Spell Ruler or Magic Ruler. I still call it both. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I still call it both. Beer Cretan. Ah. Uh, well, that's at least rare. Was it? Was it Karate Man? Yeah, I think that was his name. 
I like him. <laughs> and last one, Legend of Blue Eyes. I guess if I want a hollow, this is where I want it. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. If I have to have a, you know, if I have to choose, get that Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm just saying. Silver Fang. And, ah, uh, unfortunately not. Again, screen packs. You never know what you're getting on that. So, yeah, big thank you to Orca Shop for sending me this. That was really nice. I guess Christmas present, basically. I mean, yeah, we got the Santa hat. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And check them out. That was really nice of them. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Be safe out there. Have a Merry Christmas if that didn't happen already. Or I still hope you're having, you know, a great day and holiday and all that stuff. And even New Year's, of course, too. Maybe I'll at least have it uploaded by then. I'm not sure. My schedule's crazy. So thank you for watching, though. Just stay safe and uh, have a good time. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.